The victim of the cannibal attack from yesterday has been revealed. It's a 65-year-old man by the name of Ronald Popo, um, and uh, apparently he's, well, obviously, he's still in the hospital uh, suffering and in critical condition. So there's the man. It turns out that he's been living in Miami since 1978, but authorities refuse to release too much information about him. And as I mentioned, he is in critical condition in the hospital at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Now, remember, uh, we told you that uh, the man who had bitten his face, it wasn't a little thing. It wasn't like one bite. He, according to sources, he'd bitten off 75 to 80 percent of his face. So obviously the picture you just saw, of the, this is the guy who did it. Uh, the homeless man, that was the before picture, obviously we don't have the after picture. Uh, and, but I mean, look, you don't get any crazier than biting a guy's face to begin with. But then biting off 75 to 80 percent of his face, being naked, and doing it to a homeless guy. You know, it's interesting, like the inhibitions that you lose on this crazy drug. Again, they say it's an LSD-like drug, bath salts. Yeah. I don't know anything about it. But I mean, who thinks, oh, homeless guy, great, let me get naked and put his face in my mouth and, and bite it off. Like it's crazy on top of crazy. Yeah, so I, I just want to clarify a few things because I know we talked about this drug earlier. So it's an LSD-like drug, it's not LSD. And bath salts are made from synthetic materials that make you do crazy things like this. But these drugs, these synthetic forms of drugs are being created mostly because all of these other drugs, like marijuana for instance, and I'm not comparing the two, but marijuana is an example of a natural drug that's outlawed, that's banned, it's illegal in, in most cases. So then people resort to ridiculous things like creating these synthetic drugs like bath salts. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it's, it has a disastrous impact. Yeah, I mean, I'm not with you on the marijuana thing because I think even if marijuana was legal, they'd still do this. Uh, because, look, alcohol is legal and they still take hardcore drugs. So, you know, I'm of course with you that marijuana should be legal, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't think it affects it one way or another. So you're telling me that if LSD was legal, people would still resort to making yeah. an LSD-like drug? Yeah. I think people you know would go why? for the LSD. I don't know. It makes you feel a little better, no? No, I, I just think dudes are into whatever drugs they is the next step. Like they Some get, people want to embrace their inner cannibal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a disastrous turn of events. But no, look, some guys want to escape life. And, and so they just take harder and harder drugs. It doesn't have anything to do with, if you ask me, I know I'm doing pop psychology here, of oh, the drug or what's legal or illegal, it has to do with, I gotta get out of here. And so just give me whatever is the strongest shit you got and I'll take it. Uh, so, but my 18th warning on that, if, even if you're of that mindset, skip the bath salts, maybe just go to crack or something. Well, one thing I would say is I think that, I think largely you're, you're totally right, but sometimes I think maybe people get into uh, trying some harder drugs than they normally would precisely because pot is illegal. So you have to already go to a drug dealer to buy pot. And that drug dealer is going to be like, oh, so you like this? You want to try something a little ah, harder? Huh. Whereas if all you're going to is the marijuana dispensary and you're perfectly happy with that, well, you'll probably just stick with that. You, you have know, much more access to harder stuff. One, I will grant you that that's a really interesting point. And two, if marijuana is a gateway drug at all, which is the argument that uh, you know, people who want to uh, have it be illegal have been making for years, it's only a gateway drug for the reason that Lucas just stated, mm -hmm. which is that, well, you're already going to an illegal drug dealer and he's already got all the other stuff, right? So if it was legal, then marijuana wouldn't be a gateway drug at all. Yeah, I just don't see people out of the blue saying, hey, I'm going to take bath salts. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't see it happening. I, I we don't like, live in that circle, so we don't know. Like, like, I guess I'm in a bubble. Like, you and I are like, super nerds, and we don't normally take drugs. We don't do that stuff. We're not in the party circuit. We're not in that circuit, right? Mm -hmm. In Miami, there's a bunch of people who think, like, if there's a new drug, I got to take it. I got to take it. That's crazy. Right? That's so, crazy. And it's not only in Miami, of course. Mm -hmm.